When we apply a vibrating force, a periodic motion is generated. The attractive forces between the particles allow the energy to be transferred from one particle to the next without mass transfer. In this video, we will study how this energy transfer takes place through the longitudinal wave. Each coil of the slinky represents single particles in the longitudinal wave. We will visualize the movement of 13 individual particles in the wave using these representations. Here, they are shown to be at equilibrium position, which is at rest. These are the positions of the particles at t equal to 0 second. Let's plot the displacement distance graph. Note that distance is defined as the length of the particle from the source of disturbance to the equilibrium positions of the particles. Consider a vibrating force which disturbs the first particle to produce a periodic motion in a period of t equal to 12 seconds. The first particle is disturbed by a periodic vibrating force and moves to the next position during t equal to 0 second to t equal to 1 second. This is the displacement of the first particle from its equilibrium position at time t equal to 1 second. On the displacement distance graph, the point is plotted as shown. The second particle is disturbed by the first particle due to the attractive forces between them. At t equal to 2 seconds, we see the initial movement of the second particle from its equilibrium position. The first particle also moves further from its equilibrium position compared to the first second. The displacements of these two particles from the equilibrium positions are plotted on the graph. The distance of the second particle is its length from the first particle or source of disturbance. On the displacement distance graph, the point is plotted as shown, and the length of the second particle from its equilibrium position is as shown. At t equal to 3 seconds, the third particle is in turn disturbed by the second particle due to the attractive forces between them and moves from its equilibrium position. Particle 1 and 2's positions have also changed in this third second. The displacements of the three particles are plotted on the graph. For the second particle, its displacement from the equilibrium position is as shown. On the displacement distance graph, the point is plotted as shown and the length of the second particle from its equilibrium position is as shown. The distance of the third particle is its length from the first particle or source of disturbance. On the displacement distance graph, the point is plotted as shown and the length of the third particle from its equilibrium position is as shown. This process of particles interacting with each other due to the presence of attractive forces between them repeats itself from t equal to 4 seconds to t equal to 12 seconds. It is important to note that all particles in the longitudinal wave are vibrating about their equilibrium positions. The particles do not move with the wave motion and there is no mass transfer. Let's relook at one full periodic motion of particle 1 in relation to the other 12 particles held together by forces of attraction. As particle 1 completes one full periodic motion, the wave also travels through one wavelength. All particles will vibrate horizontally about their equilibrium positions, while the wave moves horizontally to the right. This shows that the particles vibrate parallel to the wave motion. Beside the wavelength, the amplitude of the wave can also be obtained from the displacement distance graph. From this graph, we can also identify the center of compression and center of rarefaction. At time t equals 12 seconds, these are the positions of the centers of compressions and rarefactions. Can you identify the positions of all the particles and the centers of compressions and rarefactions in the wave at t equal to 18 seconds? These are the positions of all the particles and the centers of compressions and rarefactions of the wave from t equal to 12 seconds to t equal to 18 seconds. Likewise, these are the positions of all the particles and the centers of compressions and rarefactions of the waves at t equal to 24 seconds, 30 seconds, and 36 seconds. 
Are you able to see the repeated patterns being produced? Looking at this video, you can understand every particle is also vibrating with identical periodic motion, amplitude and frequency as the vibrating force. There is also no mass transfer as the particles only vibrate about their equilibrium position while the wave moves parallel to the direction of vibration. Hope you have a great time learning about waves. See you next time.